हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप ऑफ एंड्रॉयड सीरीज एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर ऐप ऑफ हिक विजन टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हिक कनेक्ट फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वट इज हिक कनेक्ट फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी वट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड and install this app on your android tv and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel please note this is the only video on internet where we tell you that how to configure hick connect app in android tv to make the camera live so keep watching please do not skip any part because there is two or three thing which is very important that you should know so let us start what is hick connect for and our tv basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your android screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet the main purpose of this app is that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera and access all its feature feature like you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc to take up the backup of the recorded videos and many more now let's comes on the screen this is our android tv screen now what what should we do first we download hick connect apk in your pc and then set your indentation apk and copy these two apk in the pen drive if you are not able to find set your indentation apk i make a separate video that how to download and install set your indentation apk and give link in that description so you can watch the video and if you have any doubt so let us start first thing what should what should we do we should open the google play store and search for file manager plus here it is Let's open it. I already installed. That's why it show me option of uninstall. Otherwise, you are you are here. You find the option of install. Just click install and then click open. This is the interface of the file manager plus. Now what what should we do? We should insert pen drive and a USB optical mouse and USB optical keyboard. please note you have to use usb keyboard because when you ask for a username and password android tv remote is not working or hick connect okay i clear it very in a very proper way so don't be confused you you have to use optical mouse keyboard and a pen drive i ejected my pen drive it, it is automatically detected in file manager plus just close it here you find that my this is is detected now just click on apps and open find file manager plus and click open now here is it it is my usb storage just open it here i find found two apk set your indentation apk and hick connect apk just install set your indentation apk first I would install it. That's why it give me this option. Otherwise, you don't give me this option. Just click install. Click new and click, click install. Now it is installed. Just click open and select this one to only a landscape mode and press OK. Why do do we did this step? because it always open a app in a landscape mode otherwise sometime it open in operate in portrait mode which is very difficult to operate and handle it so that's why we using this set of condition apk and now installed hick connect apk it start staging first then it give the option of install
that the process to be ca- to be completed then we'll tell you how to configure the app to make the camera live now just click install now the installation also may take time so let the process to be completed see it is a totally automatic process when it is installed you find the option open there are many ways to add hit connect device hit vision device to hit connect app will tell you all the methods let the installation to be completed and after that we have i will show you two very important setting that we have to do before opening the app which is very important so don't try to skip the video will listen carefully because after that i will sh- i will tell you the those two steps okay let the installation to be finished and one more thing if your android tv have a single usb port use multi plug to connect all the three things now app is installed just click done now we'll tell you two very important step just go to the setting and go to the device preferences and then go to the security and restriction and just click verify apps and click unknown source if you find hit connect just enable it okay now again go to the setting and click apps and click see all apps now find hit connect and just go to the permissions and enable all the things especially locations now just back it and now open the app so here you find the interface just leave it just scroll down again and here you find the option start now just click start now click i agree we give location that's why it's, it will automatically select the region india just click okay now here you find the option login register and add local device just click on the login and i have account so that's why i am i am i am going to login with my username and password if you don't have account just click on the register here you find the option register you can register by own i have a login with my username and password just click login now this is the interface of the app after login what you should do you should click on add device either from here or from the top right corner so when you click on top right cor- corner you find many options like add device manually scan qr code online devices okay so first select i will show where to use online devices if your pc means android tv and your device means hik vision dvr in your ip cam or on the same network then you should click online devices same network means connected to same wifi or same network just click online devices here you find that your device come automatic auto, automatically just click here here you find two options add to hit current server add so if you click add then it act add in locally it means that you are only you are only able to access within your premises or within your wifi range or when you connect it with the same wifi where the device is used so just click this one later on i will tell also that how to access from anywhere how to add device to its current servers first click on this when you click on this it asks for username password please see here that your tv remote is not going to be work okay so that's why we use usb keyboard now use 
यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड ऑफ द डिवाइस डिवाइस मीन डी वी आर एन वी आर वॉट एवर यू आर यूजिंग ओके सो डोंट बी कन्फ्यूज इट इज अजर एंड पासवर्ड ऑफ द डिवाइस डिवाइस मीन डी वी आर एन वी आर वॉट एवर यू एडिंग जस्ट क्लिक सेफ नाउ इट इज एडेड here you see that my device comes online okay now we'll tell you all the option one by one here it is stop and stop on option when you click here your your live view stop when you click again live view start okay second option is a uh, speaker like option this is used if your camera is audio enabled if you want to hear the voice just click here and if you want to close the voice just close like this now click sd if you become that your camera become more clear then click on high definitions your uh, camera become more clear but less fluent when you click again on standard definition your camera become less clear but more fluent okay now here is multi channel view this all feature we discussing earlier in, earlier in the video just click here you find all the four to six things all the things from here okay you can change the view of the camera now after that here you find the option which is not supported by the device here you find the option of alarm so you can enable the alarm all the things from here okay right now all the alarm is off this device has four alarm and here you found option doom zoom just click here here the camera become zoom okay now your is this this is the fogger this camera is not able not have this option that's why it says error that operation failed now let's comes on this that how you take a screenshot just click here you take a screenshot like this okay again single click on the screen if you want to record the live screen just click here your recording will start here you find that timer start and you want to stop it just click it again your it will stop and and it is saved to your album again single click here if you want to come two way communication with your device you could click by you 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 done by clicking this mic option but my device is not supported that's why it give me error and here you camera speed is at enabled just click here okay now you are able to pan till and zoom okay if you want to ins check instant playback means we just one day prior just click here playback or, or on the same day just click here playback it shows that the recording of the same day just click single click on the screen now you can change the time from here okay so here you can see or check all the same function which you did earlier in this video just click on the live view okay now just back it just click here and go to the setting just click here three dot line and here you find the option remote configurations just click here now from here you have to you access all the informations and all the things just click on the basic informations it will give you all the things like from where were the serial number this is not the entire serial number just stop on the last character it is c 
ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट एट डिजिट नंबर इज दैट इज द सीरियल नंबर ओके यू मॉडल नंबर ऑल द थिंग्स यू कैन मैनेज फ्रॉम हेयर जस्ट बैक इट हेयर यू फाइंड द टाइम कॉन्फिगरेशन ऑप्शन ना इट इज हेयर यू फाइंड इफ यू चेंज द डेट टाइम सेटिंग यू कैन चेंज फ्रॉम हेयर हेयर यू फाइंड द ऑप्शन चेंज पासवर्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द पासवर्ड यू कैन चेंज फ्रॉम हेयर इन सर्ट द ओल्ड पासवर्ड नाउ क्लिक न्यू न्यू एंड कन्फर्म द न्यू एंड यू पासवर्ड विथ चेंज एंड हेयर यू फाइंड द रिकॉर्ड शेड्यूलिंग मीन्स हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द कैमरा सो यू कैन मैनेज फ्रॉम हेयर ओके यू कैन इवें control all the events okay and all the exceptions like enable motion detection enable video tempting alarm enable video loss alarm so basically when your camera goes offline it's gives up it, it it's give a pop up if your video tempered then it, it give a pop up or sound so in this way you can manage all the all the events now this one is smart events this is basically uh phase detections intrusion line crossing region exciting detection dynamic fire source you can manage all the things from here because this this device is smart device now here you found tape temperature management okay so just close this and here you should change the setting also if you if you by default if you have some problem so this is all about this one now if you want to check the record of playback just click here now select that date time for example you have to check the record of yesterday just click here and just click play playback time anything like now select the device and click start playback now it will show me record of 29 okay you can change the date time from here for example i just want to see a record of 1659 just here and just if you want to click 10 second forward it then you it can do you can do the same thing from here okay you can take the multi view you can live pause and play and you can take the screenshot and live record of the recording itself okay and if you click on hd and hd all the thing you can manage from here so just close it okay now we'll delete the device and tell another method of adding means add add to connect server so that you can access from here anywhere just click here just click setting and again click here and just click delete in this way of divide delete just again click online device and just click your device and now connect to add to hit connect server when you do this it is start scanning okay just click add and it asks for a verification code now the question arises where did you did you get encryption code just log in your device and go to the menu and then go to the configuration option and over there you find the option bit form access over there you find hit connect just never click connect just below the hit connect you find the verification code whatever code you entered there you should enter here okay like i enter my verification code and now click okay now click you can rename the device for example if you are adding a home camera just put home if you are adding a office camera just home just place office i just put test because i'm just testing the device for you now back it now click next
Let's click escape. Now it's come online. Okay. So this is the other way of accessing. Now you can when you connect to head Hikrent server, you are able to access from anywhere. Means by using your mobile data or with by some other Wi-Fi. So you can connect from anywhere. If you device some other place and you want to connect on your Android TV using a Hikrent server, this is the way of doing that. Okay. All the options are same that which I explained earlier. Each and every option I explained earlier in this video. Okay. Now just close it. Now again, just delete the device. You by when you connect with hit connect server, you all then also you are able to remote configuration, but you have to set DDNS. Okay. Just click delete device. Now I will tell you another method of adding. Now just click on this. Here you find second option add device manually just click here just click ok here you find two option hit connect domain and ip domain paranix router etc if you want to if you just let select hit connect domain then you can access from anywhere and if you click ip domain you can you only able to access within your premises or when you connect with, with your within within the wi-fi okay Hope when I select IP domain again it asks for a local IP address. So here I should enter local IP address. And where did you get a local IP address? Just log in your device, go to the network option over there you find IP address. And after that it asks for a username and password. And please note that this is the username and password of that device. Device means DVR, NVR, whatever you are adding. Just back it. Now just click. Hit connect domain when you select hit connect domain it asks for a serial number basically serial number i already tell you that how to get it log in your device and go to the information over there you should find a serial number and even the serial number is 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 you find that when you see the back side of your device I mean it is a sticker sticker where the serial number is written if the entire thing is not a serial number just hold down on the last character and after that eight digit character it's a serial number I note down my serial number, so just I use my serial number, okay? Now click save. Again, just click add. Again, it asks for a verification code. I already tell you that how to get verification code. Log in your device, go to the menu, go to the configuration. Over there, you, you should find platform access and just below the connect, you find the verification code. Click OK. Just click Next. Just escape it. And your device comes online. OK. Now just again delete the device or will tell you another method of adding. Just click here and here you find the scan QR codes. So when you click on a scan QR code, you see that my TV or any TV don't have a cam. So for that, just go to the login your device and go to the menu and then go to the platform access configuration then go to the platform access over there you find a QR code when you enable hit connect take photo of that QR code and copy it into pen drive and when you copy in pen drive here you just option here this question arises how to get QR code for that just go to menu configuration then go to platform access and just take that photo of a QR code copy it into pen drive and give path from here Okay, now this is your storage storage. If you have a QR code, just give it and give select. It will come. It will automatically detect the serial number. Okay, or whatever information it want. So just cancel it. So 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो हिक कनेक्ट फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे